Hi YouTube, this is Mac and Stitch, and today I thought I'd do another video on my Power Mac G4 because a lot has changed since the last time I put up the last video about it. So, uh, anyway, uh, the processor that was in it, the OWC Mercury Extreme that I got, well, uh, it didn't fry itself, but I think it got way too hot and it just quit working, it just stopped. And so when the system locked up, I force rebooted it to see if it would restart, but it didn't. All it did was just lock up, and I think it messed up the hard drive when I force restarted it, so it destroyed uh, what was on the hard drive, and I had to reinstall the operating system. But don't worry, I didn't lose everything because everything was transferred over to my Mac Mini about a year ago. Or something like that. So I didn't really lose everything. But uh, the computer, uh, G4 has a brand new um, fresh install of Tiger on it. And uh, the processor that I put back in it uh, has a dual 450 megahertz G4 that I got $20 off of eBay. And here it is. Put a little fan on the side there to keep it cool. It's probably a pound of aluminum right there. Everything's still the same. So, let's start it up. And my monitor is being dumb. Oh, there it goes. It starts fairly fast, too. Okay, I have to put my pro my password in. Okay, there we go. Four hundred fifty megahertz dual G four processor, and don't know if you can see it. Probably not, but I have two icons up here now for the uh, stupid camera won't zoom. Yeah, there we go. And both processors um, actually work together to accomplish a task. So that's pretty nice, actually. OS X is designed so that it can take advantage of two processors. So it'll still surf the internet, but when it handles flash videos like YouTube, probably won't because flash videos on a power PC really um, tax it big time. But this works just fine. There's that iPad again. So we'll go to YouTube, see what happens here. It loads pretty good because um, the uh, graphics card down there sort of helps pick it up big time. Anyway, that's about it. Just turn this 
off now. Oh, and uh, if anyone's trying to, I almost forgot, if anyone's trying to see if their computer can take a dual uh, processor upgrade, there's this really cool little app that I found that can help um, check if your Power Mac G4 can take a uh, dual processor upgrade. Let's see where it is. Here it is. That's what it's called. And if your revision is seven and above, like mine, it says that you can support it. So that's about it. That's all it does. Pretty simple. I think it's on newer technology. So I'll post a link or something. Anyway, that's the Power Mac G4. Now running a dual 450 G4 processor in it. Uh, yep, 10 years old, still good. Thanks for watching. Bye.